summoners, welcome back to another Pro Guides Wild Rift video. I'm Tia and today we'll be talking about Riot's recently announced patch 2.0a. We've got some exciting stuff to talk about so let's just jump right into it. This time around, we're getting a bunch of nerfs to some of the stronger champions in the meta. We aren't getting any buffs, which isn't too surprising considering the explosive state of the game. Evelyn, Aurelian Soul, Gragas, Lee Sen, Miss Fortune, Shivana, and Wukong are all a part of this list, and it's mostly because of how well they can carry games. After we talk about these guys, we'll talk about the nerfs to everyone's favorite item, Guardian Angel. Then we'll talk about Riot's current balance goals and how they plan to approach Wild Rift's patches. Before we get started with the video, I just want to say that we're constantly uploading new videos about updates, tier lists, ranked tips, and champion releases. So feel free to subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with everything Wild Rift. Starting off with Evelyn, the goal is to nerf Evelyn's role as a mid laner and avoid changing her ability to jungle. This is a great place to start since Evelyn is a really powerful mid in Wild Rift. It's very difficult to punish her early game, which is weird because that's when she's supposed to be at her weakest. Right now, her hate spike just does way too much damage, giving her good wave clear and high burst. The AP ratio is being lowered from 0.5 to 0.45, while the mana cost is increased by 5 at all ranks. Hate spike is also going to deal reduced damage to minions going from 100% damage dealt to 35-50% to based on rank. These are some huge changes and it'll definitely affect her ability to ignore the laning phase and roam as soon as she hits level 5. We feel like these changes are warranted and honestly, I'm pretty happy they've come so soon because it was a problem. If you're an Evelyn mid player, I don't think you have too much to worry about. Her own potential and mid to late game presence will always make her a strong pick in the right hands, so keep that in mind before you jump ship and switch mains. Moving on to Aurelian Soul. His ability to roam and make plays puts massive pressure on other laners in the game. His damage and utility are in a good place. He's just going around the map too quickly. To slow him down a bit, Aurelian Souls 3 will only give him a maximum of 20% movement speed instead of 40. This is a great change and cutting his speed in half will give players way more time to react to his roam. Riot also fixed a bug that gave Soul movement speed when he fired his 1 ability. Next time you see a giant space dragon flying at you, there should be a lot more time to react before he blows you up. Moving on to Gragas. He's someone that does everything a bit too well in Wild Rift. His damage is really high, and once you learn the timings for your abilities, Gragas turns into a serious threat. Right now, he provides too much tankiness and damage, and his sustain makes it really hard to poke him down. Because of this, Gragas is having his health per level lowered from 125 to 115. He's also getting an increase to his happy hour passive cooldown, going from 7 seconds to 8 seconds. To lower his consistent damage and wave clear, Riot is increasing the mana cost of his barrel roll by 10 at all ranks, putting it at an 80 mana cost at level 4. Barrel roll will also only deal 50% of the damage to minions instead of 70%. Overall, these changes address everything that makes Gragas oppressive in the meta. The increased cooldown on his passive is a huge hit to his sustain, so trading against him in lane will feel way better. Lee Sin is the next champion on our nerf list. There's a lot of mixed feelings about Lee Sin, but most people agree that if you're good at him, you can totally take over a game. He's a pretty difficult champion to master, so we need to look at the best players to figure out what's too strong about him. I think it'll take some time before we get Lee Sin in a balanced spot, and Riot's taken the first step in patch 2.0a. His sonic wave range is going from 11 to 10, and the base damage is getting some big nerfs, going from 60, 100, 140, and 180, to 55, 90, 125, and 160. These number changes hurt Lee quite a bit, lowering his damage by 20 at max rank. It might not sound like much, but 20 damage adds up, especially if it's on your most used ability. Our next champion is Miss Fortune. With her range, movement speed, and powerful team fighting ultimate, MF is one of the best marksmen in the game right now. Riot has decided to lower the base damage of her one ability, making it deal 10 less damage at all ranks. The attack speed that MF gets from her 2 ability is also being lowered by 10% at all ranks, putting her at a 90% bonus instead of 100% at max rank. I'm a huge fan of these changes, and I'm glad Riot isn't afraid to put out some bigger nerfs for the stronger champions. Miss Fortune is just so good in every game, and she's really difficult to lane against if you don't have a lot of range. These nerfs should make it easier to fight against MF once you lock her down. Moving on, Shivana is the next champion to get some nerfs. 
She has the same problem that Gragas has. She's too tanky and does too much damage. She also gets too much power from the elemental dragon bonuses, so those are being lowered as well. To fix these problems, Riot is lowering her base armor from 45 to 40. The slow Shivana gets on her one ability when she kills a mountain dragon is going from 60% to 40%. On top of this, the base damage on her two ability is getting nerfed, going from 25, 45, 65, and 85 to 25, 40, 55, and 70. Shivana's final nerf is to the bonus health gained from Ocean Dragon in her dragon form, which is going from 150, 250, and 350 health to 100, 150, and 200. If I had to name the biggest loser this patch, it's probably gonna be Shivana. She's lost a lot of her damage and tankiness in her kit, and you won't really feel it unless you have a mountain or ocean dragon in the game. We'll need to wait a bit to find out if these patch 2.0a changes are enough to lower Shivana's power form and carry playstyle. The last champion to get nerfed is Wukong. After a buff to his one ability, Wukong has been doing really well in the meta. Right now, he's doing a bit too well in the jungle, so Riot is nerfing his clear speed and utility to make him less slippery. His warrior trickster invisibility time went from 1.5 seconds to 1 second, and the clone damage is being lowered from 50% at all ranks to 20, 30, 40, and 50%. His three ability got some tweaks too, going from 35, 40, 45, and 50% bonus attack speed to 25, 35, 45, and 55%. If Shivana is our biggest loser, Wukong is the biggest winner among the nerfed champions. I don't think these changes will have that big of an effect, except for the damage that his clone does. You won't have as much upfront damage from your clone, so don't be surprised if you miss out on a kill or two. We've talked about the upcoming champion nerfs, but Riot also mentioned a nerf to Guardian Angel. In League of Legends, GA is a great final buy for physical damage champions that need to buy time and survive for as long as possible. In Wild Rift, there are a lot more team fights and skirmishes throughout the game, so the item is a lot more valuable. It's so valuable that pretty much anyone who can build it is buying it, and that's always a bad sign. To stop the League of GA, the total cost is going up from 2800 gold to 3100. The attack damage is also going from 45 to 40, and the revive cooldown is being increased by 30 seconds, putting it at a 210 second cooldown. These changes will make fights feel like they're more about your skill and less about which team has more GAs. That's all we have for the patch 2.0a nerfs, but we also got some insight regarding the workflow and release schedule for all these balance changes. Riot said that what's slowing them down is their delivery speed, not their decision making. This makes sense since we're still adjusting to COVID and the year just started. It's nice to see transparency about the game and if things are a little slow for a while, that's no big deal. I'd rather see good decisions made and implemented a few weeks late instead of poor decisions being pushed out quickly. When things are going smoothly, we can expect to see a patch every two weeks, usually on Mondays. If we don't get a patch when we should, it means that Riot is taking some extra time to collect information and push out the changes. The last thing in the patch 2.0a is a list of the upcoming free-to-play champion rotation. Here's everything, all the champions, and the dates that they'll be available. January 21st to January 27th, Ari, Amumu, Evelyn, Ezreal, Jax, Nami, Seraphine, Sona, Vayne, and Wukong. January 28th through February 3rd, Alistar, Braum, Fiora, Gragas, Kaisa, Olaf, Singed, Twisted Fate, Vayne, and Yasuo. And that's everything we have for our patch 2.0a rundown. We're always excited to see changes in the game, especially when we're getting nerfs to some of the most annoying champions in the game. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We also have a community discord for Wild Rift, where you can talk about the game, find some friends to queue up with, or learn to cook with Kangas. Yay! That's it for me today, so thanks for watching, good luck on the Rift, and I'll see you next time. I don't know.